I'm good. Okay, hey guys, Chris here. I picked up one of those car capsule showcase car bubbles, things that you put in storage, put your car in storage for the winter. Um, kind of preparing for that camera that's hopefully coming in this weekend. We will see. I did all the, I'm in my garage. I did all the messy work. I tried to get everything out of the way because this is where I'm going to store it for the winter. And I got the car capsule in today. It's in my car. Thing weighs like 100 pounds. It's pretty big and heavy. But I thought I would film myself setting it up. Hopefully if someone else gets one of these things, they can learn from my experience. And yeah, so I guess enjoy. Sorry, got the 18 foot model. It should be nine feet by 18 feet, I think. Um, hopefully it fits, we'll find out. So I watched a little tutorial online on what to do when you get this thing. That was maybe a week ago when I was, when I was looking into this. Hopefully I remember right, hopefully set up. So the one I picked out, I originally bought just the basic or standard 18 foot black one and I was looking online while I was sitting at the airport and I was like, well, there's a better, newer version out there. So I emailed the guy, trying to get information about it and sure enough, talked me into upgrading to the white one that comes with the LED lights and a battery backup and all sorts of goodies. So I got that one. Um, so from what I understand, let me bring this closer. Maybe it's fine. Let's change the angle. Hopefully I have a number. I don't know, height. I never measured that. I'll find out here. I'll just do it all. You okay? Whoa! <laughs> Hi! 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 So I cleaned my floor already. Yeah! So I'm pretty sure they started it up. Some moment, I guess. Pain in the ass to store. I want to make sure this is the back. I don't know how I determine that. Looks like it is. Yeah, it is because it's got. Uh, let's do this. And this is the bag because it has the part where the filter and the fan connect. Hi. Hi. Okay, let's get this down a little bit. Yeah, alright. Sorry, I got a lot of a busy day today. Work. Life's been hectic as always. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna find the spot that the pump plugs into. I'm gonna let it kind of pull itself up. Here it is. Let's bring this down. Appropriate height. There's a little. Plug right here. Oh wait, this thing was pretty vacuum sealed. All right, so it comes with the pump. I'll put this on something so it doesn't get scratched. Right, put it on this. Yes, I'm OCD like that. Just plug this in. Just the pump that it comes with. Has a inflator side and a def deflate side, and I'm pretty sure the instructions were to use the rivet hose. So we do that, and deep this goes right in here. 
Seems like it. I'm gonna just turn it on. Probably pretty loud. I'm just gonna, gonna go up for a couple minutes here. This is do not exceed 31 psi, right? Do not exceed 3 psi, that must be uh, 3 psi going into the unit. Um, let's see here. There we go. Okay, whoa, this is cool. This thing is not the easiest to move once it's in flavor. What's it like? Some grab handles or something you can move it around a little bit easier. <laughs> this is pretty cool. Alright. So next what I'm gonna do take this off. There's a little spot right here. I'm gonna just shove the Extension cord through. Let's see, is that even fit in there? Yeah, it does. Okay. So I'm gonna put that right there. I'm gonna bring the camera in on the inside. I have enough height in here. I don't know if you can see. This is the center beam hitting it. But I mean, the cars aren't that tall. Set up. I'm gonna see how the it fits in the garage. Might be too big. I'll find out. I don't play football here. Oh, yeah? Look! Kitty, touch! Come, Kitty, Lee! Hit the ball! Pass! Pass off! Okay, drop the ball. What? Drop the ball. Okay, Kitty, Lee, the ball. Woo! Let's go, Kitty. Pretty sure. I think this is how they have it set up. Okay. You got that right, kid. Oh, this spaz is heat. Back up. This little pressure hose is shut off. Just goes on, you can't see, it just goes on like that. What is it? Alright, we'll try it. Let's turn this on. Alright, so shut off automatically. Which tells me that it's got plenty of pressure. Hey Nolan, yeah? can you go on the outside of this and push? What? Can you go on, you, oh, just like this? Yeah, push up against, no, not, not that. Right. Yeah, like right there. There you go, now come down here. You have to push on the other side. All right, down below. Thanks, kiddo. This little fan take this much power. Alright, so this is what the makes the I want I want to play. The deal is protecting it from us. Possibly. So, get the fan hooked up. Hi, 
Oh, the infusion. Okay, bring this outside. Bring this inside. No. Oh. It's got supposed to be LED strips throughout. I think they are. I think they are. And how do they? Oh, I see now. Okay. Let's see if you're going to attach these lights. I'm railing these. set up these lights. All right, so I'm trying to figure this out, but I think I'm doing it right. I have this longer extension cord that I'm going to tuck inside these little flaps here. Come all the way to the side, and they come up, and they kind of go, they must come in front of here. Oh, now I'm confused, because they go this way. That must be where one connects, and then the other one kind of comes this way. I don't know. This is. I wish the instructions were a little more clear, but I'm just gonna wing it. And I, I, I couldn't find anything online. But I mean, I don't look for like. Uh, I looked for like ten seconds. I've been patient right now, but I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna wing it, and I will. I'll post what I figure out. And hopefully this comes up on the screen. What I'm doing is I've got this whole line kind of tucked. Let me back this up. So I got this whole line tucked in this little channel. All the way through, so I'm doing is I'm just taking it and putting it in the loop individually. Like so. I was gonna skip every other, you know, tree or something like that, but I figured I'm only gonna do this one time, hopefully. I'm only gonna have to do it one time. Might as well do it right. So I'm gonna bring the cord in, pull in all the excess. It's gotta be a better design for this, I don't think. Maybe not, but it'd be cool if they incorporated the wire kind of in, you know, in here, have it melt it or put a little piece, I don't know, between it or something. So that's what I'm doing right now. And I'll take the next piece. This will be tricky. Probably bail on that one actually. I'm just set it right up here. Yeah, there's no way I can get that in there. I'm out. So what I'm gonna do is I got I don't know if I'm doing this right. I have the cord coming in here, and this plugs into the pump, which has two plugins, one for the fan that pressurizes this new unit, and one for the LEDs, which I have going through this little slit, and the controller in here, and then plugged into this controller is this cord that I have going through this tube. It's a pain in the ass because it's every, you know, it's like, it's like a three inch deal that I have to cut so you can see the cord right there. So it's coming all the way through. I'm going to keep bringing it up. I'm going to bring it up here. This is probably end right about here. I'm going to bring it right here and hopefully I'm going to have to reattach this because I think this will attach to it right here next to the splitter which is right there. I think maybe the splitter comes over here actually. That makes sense. All right, we'll figure it out. Stay tuned. Okay, so this some change up. I still have the cord coming out through here. I finally got it all the way up here. What I'm gonna do is bring it up through here, hook it in right, right here. Oops. I'm gonna bring it all the way through and then right about here, it's gonna need another extender. So I'll put another extension on there that hopefully brings it out to here. And then what I did is I had this strip of light goes around this front, or I guess it'd be the back piece. And this strip of that goes around the front piece, I have all the connections right here. So I think it'd be best to have them all, you know, 
tech in one central spot. That's probably how it's supposed to be. I'm just kind of winging it, but yeah. Well, now I'm gonna get this wire again up through here and plumb it through these little channels. So it took me a couple minutes to figure out how to hopefully properly wire this, and I still don't know if I have it right, but I got the wire up to this channel. I have it, you can see, there's one part right here, I did see that, that the, it's not in the channel, but the wire had to, you know, it wasn't quite long enough, so they gave me another extender. And right now I'm just in the middle, I should have tested this before I went through all this effort, but now I'm just in the middle of getting the wire, tucked within this channel, there are these little loops that I really hope are meant for this cord. That's what I've been doing for the last 20 minutes. The setup for this thing took, I mean, I saw the video, it took no time. I just, you know, you unroll it, you hook up the, the pump, and you turn it on, and, and she inflates. It took maybe four minutes, five minutes. I think it's what it says online too, actually, it's four minutes. Um, so that, that, that was the easy part. Setting up the little fan down there with the filter, that was easy. It's just getting these LED lights figured out. Because I couldn't really, I didn't, again, I didn't look that, I didn't look that long online on the proper way to wire these, so I'm kind of winging it, but I think I got it right. We'll find out. Hopefully I don't have to take this wire. <laughs> I'm not gonna do this again, so I was gonna say, hopefully I don't have to take this wire out when I deflate this. Hopefully it all just kind of comes together, because I got some time invested into this tonight. And I just wanna get this thing set up. Not that I have a car put in here. All right, I don't know if it's gonna turn on or not. Let's find out. Ooh, look at that fancy. I don't think that's doing it. Hit me with this shit just plug in. So. <laughs> well, the blue doesn't work right here, so that sucks. Does this have to get plugged in on this side? All right, I wonder if they'll take care of this. Some of the lights don't work. This is what it looks like right now. The three blue ones right here aren't working. And what's funny is that all of these blue ones don't work if I have this one unplugged. See, just the blue ones go out. See how I can see over here. You cut off right here. There's like a little, little glue mark right there. That's showing up. Maybe I'll email them and see if they'll take, send me a new strip. For now, I'll just make sure this arrow lines up with this arrow. For now, I'll just plug it in so the blue at least turns on. Cool, all right, so, and from here, from what I understand, you should be able to control everything with this remote. Sweet. All right, so this is the white light looks like. Blue, that's cool.
orange. Yellow, orange. Purple, purple is kind of cool. I don't like white. What does this do? Whoa. Ah, <laughs> uh, I can't see. What does this do? Brightness? See, what the hell is up with this? This strip. What's up with this strip? It's on white. There's three little yellow guys right there. Alright, car caps will fill. We'll take care of me on this bit. Here. There we go. Okay. I think I did everything right. Setup was pretty. Setup for the unit itself was. Went up like that. Getting the wire plumbed. I think it's right. I mean, it works. That was another thing. You can control the brightness. Ooh. It's kind of cool. It's a little subtle. That's all the way up like that. It's auto. Whoa! This must be like a show off me or something. In the middle of a rave. Turn that back on. But I'm just going through the different settings just to kind of see what it does. This is trippy. Okay, so that's the install of the lights. Hopefully that helped people that didn't know, and it was like me, and didn't know what they were doing. Camaro, I hope it comes in. I have stories about this thing, if you guys wanna hear about it. Hopefully it comes in this weekend. I've been saying that to a couple of my buddies for like, it seems like forever. But it's coming. It's gonna be right here all winter. I'm gonna be able to finger pat it. All in along if I want to. This thing's pretty cool. Definitely does make the garage a lot obviously smaller because it takes up so much room, but I mean you saw the kids running around throwing footballs. There's a reason why I got this thing. Because that car, that car up costs more than my first house. So I need to protect it. So alright, hopefully that wasn't a boring video. Stay tuned for more. I'm gonna I'm gonna film the delivery of the Camaro because I'm excited to get it. I know a lot of you guys are excited to see it. Everybody I know personally who watches this is they're waiting a long time just like I am. So over two years in the making but it's, it's finally coming close to an end. So I'll be filming that here hopefully in the next week. Hopefully by this weekend actually. Electrical wire, electrical tape around some of these connections. At one spot, let's see if I'll give you, see if I'll send you a new strip. It's cool how when this thing gets internally pressurized, how oh, this isn't even touching. It's pretty cool. That Camaro back end right, right in here. Nice and protected. Yeah, alright, I like it. Hey guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.